Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 56, I believe, of creating this watch inside of my 2018. Um, what we're going to be doing today is finishing this piece, um, which is this whole out thing right there. And um, one thing I also want to do actually is just delete this yellow thing that we made earlier because I actually want to create a new pipe. That way we can adjust the inputs. And before you change anything, you want to change the um, subdivisions to like 50 maybe. Um, let's see how this looks. I'm just gonna do a quick scale up, and this is being weird. Okay, now I'm just gonna like snap that to like the middle or something. I don't know. That way I can kind of get a quick estimate. Um, uh, let's see if I can still change this without it spazzing out. Yep. Okay. Um, so I want to change subdivisions access to. Let's see here. I think. We can go to 40. Yeah. Alright, I think 40 will be good. We can always change it, so I'm just going to save here. And apply that last blend that we were using for that previous piece. And then I'm just going to take these edges, you can see right here. And scale those out to something like this. And bring this in so that we can um, line this up properly. Just kind of eyeball this for a second until we can get this a bit nicer with the scale. So, let's see, I think we need to bring this down. We need to move it to basically where that notch is again, remember? And just make sure you just want to see how far down that goes. And I think I might need to bring that down a bit more. So, I'm just going to take the vert vertices of all of that and bring that down. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Yeah, alright, so I'm going to save this and turn off wireframe shaded. And I'm going to see um, what we have to do, basically, to create that. So it looks actually pretty easy to make. Um, I think what we're going to do is, one, hide this because it's really in the way. And let's see, select these pieces right here. And I want to see how far they go. So they go almost all the way out. And it also looks like it kind of like goes goes into it a little bit. So I just want to select those and um, extrude those out a little bit. And then let's see, scale it in to something like that. And it looks to me like it's the same exact height. Yep. Um, and then out again. A little in more. And then just one more but this one a little less and then just bring it all the way out to something like there and then just remember that these pieces I got some comments about it these will be um, subdivided more so they're not going to be low poly like this they're going to be a smooth straight line so for example I could do a, whoops, a quick kind of smooth right here very bad and quick and you can kind of see how that's just going to be smooth and not um, with those hard um, like 20 subdivisions right there. So with that out, I realize that I think it's a bit too wide. Because this one seems to be about as wide as this entire little thing right here. And that's not the case here. It seems to be a bit bigger. So what I think I'm going to do is go to my top view. And I'm going to go to here. And just drag select those pieces and just scale those in until it matches close enough to something like that and then bring that out and then I'm going to select all of those and then just let's see scale those down till they match and then we have that thing sticking out which should give me the shape that I'm looking for I believe so although I think that I could take that out a little bit and then take these edges and bring those in more just to have that be a little thicker and then take this and bring that down and then preview smooth of this. Let's see, just maybe bring that even lower. Okay, I like this. So then what we need to do is create a little hole in it. So let's go to the top view here and do kind of what we were doing before so I'm going to add one about here 
and then let's see if I double take those and do control delete to delete those okay that's not really keeping any geometry so we can just delete those and um, I'm gonna take this face right here and do control E to extrude press R and I just realized I had selected that one so I just want this press 4 to make sure this is the only thing selected and just extrude this in press R bring that down to like there and to make it like a square that rhymes um, so that looks pretty good I'm gonna extrude this again and just bring it down to like here or whatever and then add an edge loop there and here just to make that keep its um, circularity um, but again this will be all better once we smooth it we're just not to that part yet I just want to finish all the modeling pieces so that looks pretty good um, now we want to make this for all the other sides but I don't want to do I don't want to make that all over again so I just want to look at the size of these pieces again and just make sure that this is looking good in terms of size so I think so um, yeah that looks pretty good to me so what I'm gonna do is let's see what we can do I'm gonna take all of the faces of that thing we just made so that should be it press 4 yep and do it one more time yeah okay and then I'm going to go to shift right click duplicate face I've done this once before I think and let's see I'm going to just drag select like the like let's see like this basically but then I'm gonna shift select these pieces just so that I have that and I'm gonna center pivot and that's that piece we just made so I'm gonna position this where it should be so it looks like it's also about down here so I feel like that's about right here if you can kinda see my cursor um, what we can do is we can go into this view though kinda see where this will be it looks to me like it's a bit under I think it's gonna be right here yeah okay on um, these whoops right there so what I'm gonna do is I believe that pivot is in the middle let's see if I can select that piece again um, control Z back to when that was there and I can just rotate this to I believe I had said these um, so let's just see how that looks what I want to do is turn on wireframe shaded that way I can kind of get that piece to be in the center of those two things so something like that looks about right and then I'm going to freeze the transformations and control D to duplicate and just scale that to negative one in the X so like that and then I think there is two more we need to do up there yep so it looks like those are a bit underneath that little monkey thing so I think right here would be good so if I select this again I'm just gonna duplicate that and bring that to here and then I want to make sure that this is about equal equidistant from those so I think kind of like maybe a notch more that way looks good and then we're gonna do that same thing I'm gonna select this and freeze the transformations control E to duplicate and then just bring that over negative one and then we're going to need to do some merging but before we do that let's just see how this looks without it being shaded and see if we like that and see if that looks most importantly like a real one and I believe it does yes okay and so all we have to do now is just merge these together to make them better just take a look at this um, yeah what the hell is that now that would be an interesting watch to make um, but yeah just kinda hard to see some images here mm, that's not what I want but just trying to see alright this one's kinda close enough so yeah alright we did this good um, so now we just need to take this and all those pieces we just made and check our time 
So I think I'll end this episode off here, and then we'll continue working on this specific piece in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in episode 58, maybe?